Hi, my name is Amber Soto and I'm a student at Southern Utah University. I am taking cost accounting and today I'd like to talk about activity-based costing. Many small companies start out using peanut butter costing, which is a simple costing method. This method uniformly applies costs across all of the products by broadly averaging them. Unfortunately, this simple method can also lead to under allocating and over allocating costs when resources are not used uniformly. A better way for a company to determine their costs is to use activity-based costing. However, before a company can implement activity-based costing, they need to know what's involved, the benefits, and the potential issues. With activity-based costing, you need to identify your cost objects, identify the direct costs, and identify activities as cost objects. What you end up with is many different cost objects and cost pools. Along with that, there is also a hierarchy involved. Um, unit level costs such as materials, batch level costs like setups, product sustaining costs like design, and facility sustaining costs like management salaries. All of these need to be taken into consideration when developing your activity-based costing. Now the benefits involved with activity-based costing is a better cost allocation. It reduces the possibility of over allocation or under allocation. It's gonna, it could potentially improve the financial performance of the company. It, it improves their decision making. They'll have a better idea on how to cost their products and they'll have a better way of competing with other companies. Um, they could potentially have better quality. It also can improve their accuracy, reliability, timeliness, and understandability. Along with the benefits, there's also going to be some issues. There are a lot of administration costs involved with activity-based costing. Um, there also could be some misidentification in cost pools if it's not done correctly. Uh, there also needs to be continuous maintaining and updating. If things are not maintained and updated, the items will not be cost correctly. Sometimes management also does not like to be involved in this. Um, they don't necessarily understand and it can cause behavioral issues. Another big issue is that it does not comply with generally accepted accounting principles, which can make financial statements and extra accounting involved. Um, and there's also the potential of failure, but failure is also based on how it's implemented. So if a company wants to refine its system from the peanut butter costing simple method to an activity-based costing method, um, they just need to take into consideration what it's going to take to implement it, as well as the benefits and the costs that are involved. Thank you and have a great day.